Hey guys, today we're going to be previewing Ziltex PLA filament. Let's check it out. Alright, I got my big box of Ziltex filament in the mail. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. Well, this is what was in the box. I completely forgot what I ordered. I usually go with the black. Apparently I wanted some blue this time. And I did get another roll of the new bronze they have. This is quickly becoming one of my favorites. I print a lot of statues and stuff like that with it. it this is good stuff right here. Let's open one up and see what we got. All right, in the box, you get a pretty good sealed roll of filament here color is fantastic. I've always been a fan of the light blue. You get a little piece of paper, a whole bunch of information on it. We'll go over that pretty soon. And once it's opened up, as you can see, it's wrapped real nice. It's not brittle. You can bend it. I've had issues with some filaments snapping right away. I can go back probably the whole roll and have zero problems with this. I got this one opened up because I'm going to be printing it very shortly so I'm not too worried about it. And let's check out what we got printed with them. So I got some stuff printed out. I haven't had a lot of time with the blue. I normally print very large scale props so they take a really long time. But I did manage to print this little paint holder. I really apologize for the picture. Blue shows up very terribly. I will throw some better pictures up in the corner over here. And I got some gaming tokens. Turned out real nice. As for the new bronze, I printed out this Wargaming Bunker. As you can see, it's quickly becoming a favorite because it looks awesome. It's not overpowering, it's not too shiny, it's not too dull. It's very consistent. Patterns show up real well. Color pretty much stays the same. There's no differential in heat with color change because I've changed the tip halfway through this and normally You'll get a little bit of a color change that did not happen with this. As well, I have one of these painted in their brand new silver and of course the black. And for the black, which I have a ton of, I'll show you I have this printed out. This is one of my larger props. This is an all Ziltec black glossy PLA. It came out amazing. I've had no issues with it. Nothing has failed. It's super smooth. And you can see it, I, why I like printing with this stuff. So, with that being said, let's get to the technical stuff. Now, for the fun stuff, every box you get, you get a little piece of paper from Ziltec. And it has specifications on it, recommended settings for PLA. It tells you you should run it a little bit hotter, which I'll get to that. I agree. And it has a snippet of G code to retract your filament 10 millimeters at the end of a print. I don't use this. I've never had a problem. I can see if you want to, it probably wouldn't hurt. But as for me adding it, I don't think it's worth it. So the specifications. It does say it has an OD tolerance of 0 0.05. I have checked a full spool every probably 50 feet or so. It sucked, but I found the tolerances were well within 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 90% of the time. I had it bump up to 0 0.05 twice in one roll and once in a different roll, I think. 
So I would say the tolerances are very good for this filament. As for the temperature, you're going to want to run it hotter. I mean, if I'm running at 60 millimeters per second, I'm running my PLA at 212 to 215. If I'm going slower, maybe 210. Why it runs better hot, I'm not sure, but it does. As for the color, there's not much color change from the filament to the print. The purple, I did get a little hue change towards the be heated bed. It was a little bit darker than the rest of the print. It was very unnoticeable hardly, but I figured I would mention it. That was just for the Taro purple. I have not had that with any other print. I haven't done all the colors. But I've done pretty much most of them. As for the translucent colors, I would recommend at least a 1.6 millimeter wall or you will see the infill through it. I found once you hit that point, you stop seeing the infill and it looks a lot better. I will say after running through about 250 to 300 rolls of this, I've had two bad rolls. They were brittle. They snapped a little bit wasn't the whole roll, it was just little spots. I contacted Ziltec. They replaced them for free. I got them within a couple days. No questions asked. I didn't have to send me any pictures. I had them. I had video. I was ready. They said, no, you're good. We'll send them out to you. And I mean, I can't compliment their customer service enough. They are fantastic. With all that being said, I'm going to highly recommend Ziltec filament. I trust it with my business. I mean, there's not a lot of filament companies I'd be willing to drop thousands of dollars in filament in without even thinking about it. There might be some that are close, but their customer service, their prices, their quality, it's really hard to beat. I will have their link down below in the description as well as a coupon code for 15% off and if you order it is $75 or more it is free shipping. So if you put 7 of them in a cart, use the coupon code, you're getting free shipping. That comes to about $11.50 a roll unless you're ordering the new colors which are a dollar more. Still super cheap, super fantastic. So. Stay tuned for a giveaway. So, if you want to try Ziltex PLA, I will be giving away a roll absolutely free. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and I will be choosing a winner in three weeks out of the comments. I'll be shipping it to you absolutely free. You're gonna want to subscribe anyways because I'll be giving away more free filaments with more review videos. And that being said, this will only ship to United States and Canada because that is the only place that Ziltec currently ships to. If there's a film that you would like me to review, I'll have my contact information down in the description. Go ahead and reach out to me. I'll get back to you as quick as possible, and we'll see what we can work out. Until next time, see ya.